Professor Jürgen Hellmann is still with us, mm -hmm. and he's going to tell me why should one spend time writing mm -hmm. up a research design. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we already kind of touched on that, that okay. uh, question. Tell me again. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, uh, so I mean, the, 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 the basic aim of, of, of the research is why you should spend time on it is, of course, that to enhance the quality of, 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 your, of your research and to be able to stay in time in your time limits of course but still why should how how do we reach that right so why should one spend time on, on writing this this kind of, of designs and, and application i think there are three good reasons for that the first is for yourself that at least in my experience when, when i have to sit down take my thoughts put them down on the paper present them to other people, to my colleagues and so on, that makes me, that forces me to really think through what am I going to do? Why am, am I going to do this? And I have to present that in a way that is understandable to other people. So it kind of forces me to, to think through, you know, you can have all these good, nice ideas that you, you ponder on when you stroll on your way to the university and, and so on. But when you put them, do they look at, as good when you put them on paper? <laughs> yeah, exactly what words, what concept. I mean, social yeah. science is a lot about language, you know, having the, the correct language, having the right concepts. Uh, and what do they convene to other people when they read it? So first of all, it's important for you for, for yourself to have this because the project design gives you an overall idea, an overall picture of your own project. And I, I, I don't know how many times when I write my designs, I have changed my aim, I have changed my research topics. And I do this usually parallel by when I read through a lot of material in this specific area that I'm interested in. So that also influences the, the, the design, of course. So first of all, it's, it's for my own sake that I, when I write, write research designs. But it also, as I said, something that you present to your colleagues. So we usually, when we write these all these applications, and also when we have students writing their research design, they have to, and we have to, present these designs on seminars. So on these seminars, People read through what you have written and you get their feedback and their ideas and their comments on, on your uh, project. And that is often, I think for me, that's kind of core activity in, in the academia to have these seminars together with your colleagues and have their views and experiences in how, okay, how can I improve this, this project? So, so I think that that is really, really important. In, of why you should write this this project design to present to to your to your colleagues and thirdly, as we have been discussing in, in the other videos also that there might be other stakeholders like organizations, government authorities that might be interested in this and you have to present it in a way to them in a way so they can understand what are you going to do and why you're going to do it in. You know why should they let you into your their organization? What's the the, the gain for them? What's this, what's in it for them? And that you can kind of present in your project design so that they can read it and they can take an informed decision on whether or not letting you into into your your organization. And there you can also push the 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 benefits for them for actually letting you in. You can also by having this discussion about ethics and, and also we haven't touched upon that really, but how you will uh, uh, secure your materials, so it's not used by anyone else than yourself and so on, because the organization might, might be worried that the, they, what they give you yeah, in terms of materials that will, yeah, them. yeah, will be spread to, to others. Compensation yeah. data, Compe exactly, and sec and secrets and, and yeah. yeah. So, and then you can show them how you have planned to secure for their security in your project. So, so, so that's, so that's also really important, I think. So, so the project design is for you to think through your project, but also co to communicate your project 
to other people, to other stakeholders. And this, in total, I think, enhance the quality of, of uh, the project. Because then you get all these different views and, and comments and feedback on, on your project. And, and actually, I think it protects you too in that it tells people the boundaries of your research. Exactly. Yeah, so, so when I ask, so why that is not part of my thing, it's outside the scope exactly, of this yeah. piece of work. Exactly, yeah. yeah so, mm. so I suppose, yeah, so, so it helps both, it helps everybody, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. It helps everybody and, and um, it helps both you and other people to assess the quality of, of the project. So you can assess, you can kind of make sure that you have the correct data that you're looking for, that you have high validity in your data, that they are valid for your research. Uh, you can you can also, I mean, when I said save time in, in the, in, like, you don't have, you don't collect a, a lot of unnecessary data. You collect the, the necessary. <laughs> what I'm laughing is because remember I was saying to you that you have one shot with people. Yeah. You maybe ask because you know you have mm. a second piece of research yeah. you want to put out. But then yeah. that is but also not fair to them in that maybe you'd have had to disclose mm. to them, look, mm. half the questions are for yeah. this piece so, of research yeah. and half for that. Yeah. But then you have already planned for your research. So I don't so that's well that's could go in could go into the plan. I know, but remember we were talking about the ethics mm. of it all first. Yeah. To disclose to the people what they are yeah. part of. No, that's true. Because yeah, debriefing true. them after mm -hmm. I've only come to you once and yeah. you're part of two yeah. studies it might not be all that nice. But let me if let me go back to uh, in the first video I told you about when, when I wrote my thesis okay. in 1995. I had no research design. I had no method course. Nothing. So as I just went out to the field and tried to write down as much as possible, talk to as many people as possible. I, of course, I had an idea. I was go going to do a project about uh, art and politics and, and a student theater in, in, in Indonesia. So, of course, I had a focus. But I had came home with all this material, you know, loads of material that I have still not used. Ah, <laughs> so, because it just kind of... And I've seen this among a lot of students, that, that they come home with all this interesting stuff and interesting material but it doesn't really speak to the questions that are asked in, in the in the research so and that also takes time then to sift through all this material and i think you know at least in anthropology we have this old idea of well you're going out one time doing a two years field work and then you use that material for, for the whole of your life your yeah. academic life you know all this Malinowski and Boas <laughs> figures that did that. But that's different from today. Today you do many field words mm -hmm. and you have very limited time frames to produce your research. Mm -hmm. So then you have to know, okay, uh, what kind of material do you need for this research? Um, and, and, and try, yes. yeah. But we're not thinking because um, knowledge becomes obsolete. Yeah, it, it, does, it does as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. In a way, yeah. Alright. Hmm? Well, thanks. I, I'm sorry, yeah. I broke across your thoughts a while ago, no, but no. It, it just suddenly occurred to me that that my thing, because I, I want to speak with the CEOs of Jamaica and yeah. I don't imagine that I can just call on them no. every two weeks. So, yes, my thing did include asking some questions for future yeah. consideration. Mm -hmm. But as you say, you might never consider it, you know. But, yeah, but I think that if you have, as you said, one shot, uh, maybe you should, well, then why not be open saying that I'm planning for on doing several papers, yeah, and then just shoot that. away, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and yeah. bring her in as much if, if material as, as, as possible. Yeah. 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 Because I don't, you know, you're not going to give me two half hours, it's not the no, same to no, you. No, 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 yeah. I, see, I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. Alright, okay. so, so thank you so thank much you. for telling us why we should bother to take time <laughs> to write a good research design.